up everyone holy crap it is time for this i <laughs> i don't even know what to tell people when i show them this now because i'm just like everyone has been asking me to do this it, this is dang and ramfa trigger happy havoc holy crap so i know that when i was playing phoenix Wright for the first time um a lot of people asked me uh have you ever played dang and ramfa and i said no but i had heard of it and all i really knew about it was that it was like some kind of visual novel game that's all but I know that it's been around for a while and people absolutely love it. And I thought, well, once I get into the Phoenix Wright series, I'll be busy with that, so maybe I'll play it later. And now <laughs> I've played three Phoenix Wright games and I'm like, well, I, d I did say that I wasn't gonna play another visual novel yet, but I don't know. I just watched the intro and I'm like, I think I saw someone that was hanging and, and it looks maybe a little bit darker than I expected. So maybe this won't be so bad. I've been wanting to play this for a long time, and I said, you know what, for, fine, I'm just gonna play it. I'm very excited to start this. Now, as you guys know, I always played these games not knowing anything about them, literally anything. So this time around, I heard that this is like a really easy game to spoil, so, um, so I don't get spoiled too badly. I am gonna have people watching the comments for spoilers, um, and I probably will do my best to just record this without looking at the comments too much. However, I will look at the comments when my mods have told me it's safe to look at them. So as usual, give me your spoiler free tips and tricks on things like gameplay and things like that. Uh, anything that you think might help, but don't spoil the story. Don't spoil anything about these characters. I just saw a bunch of characters. I hope I can remember them all, you guys. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead. I've never played this before. I don't know what's in the options. Anything good? Oh, uh, maybe we should be careful here. Let's see. Um, the voice volume's a little- Oh, it's voice acted, is it? I like- I like voice acted. Turn that down just a hair. Um, I would really like to hear the voice acting. Reticle speed? Okay. Movement, Bob. Reset settings. No, we're good. I think we'll be fine. So like I said, spoiler free, please. I am so excited to start this. And I know when a lot of people found out that I was gonna start this, they kind of crapped their pants. Hopefully you won't crap your pants for a bad reason. Like me being bad at this game, but I think I'll be all right. Let's start. I'm very excited to start. Let's do it. Oh, um, if it's voice acted, if I was playing for myself, I'd probably have the Japanese on, but let's, let's keep it English for the sake of so people can read it. Wait, what's this? Logic difficulty, gentle, kind, or mean. Action difficulty? What kind of action is in this game? Okay, well, oh. Um, here's the thing, guys. I like puzzles, but I don't know what kind of action it is. If it's like bullet hell or something, then I'm fucked. Um, okay, I hope you don't mind. I, I really want to play this for the story. I'll just do that. That should be okay. Oh. Oh no, it's, it's the bear. Now, of course I've seen him around before, but I don't know what his deal is. Whoa! Okay, he's kind of scary. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh oh, uh oh. What's going on? Oh, that dude in trouble. What are you doing? Uh oh. What the? Oh, what the? Whoa, what? Burn. <laughs> oh, shoot! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again! Wow, what did that dude do? What? Get wrecked! 
what? Oh, he's gone. Whoa. Holy crap, this art style is amazing. I don't even know if I should be talking through this. Oh no, he's coming back down. Oh, he's he's wrecked. Oh no, get fucked. Is he is he dead? Whoa. Sir, you're all right. No, he's okay, right? Uh oh. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> it's a scratch. What is your deal, mister? Oh, you're a bad guy. No, I, you're a bad man. Bear. Bear man. Man bear. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. This is very extra, and I'm already feeling this aesthetic so bad. Holy shit. Yes, let's start, please. Whoa, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. I probably just read, like, the narrative things in my normal voice, because I, I think... I don't know how voice acted this is, so we'll see what happens. Pope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. It looks nice. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. It looks great. Is that where we're gonna go? There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students? Wow, that sounds great. It was me. Is that us? Oh good, I can't wait. Before we go any farther, Ooh. I guess I should introduce myself. Hi! My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto, how are you, darling? Oh, that's us, is it? Oh, well, lovely. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. Oh, dude, it's so me. <laughs> Bless. This is me right here. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. Oh, don't say that, dude. You're fine. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or a mutant or whatever. Well, is this mutant school? That'd be cool. Give me some Professor X up in here. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, then I'll just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Well, that doesn't mean anything bad, though. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's okay, dude, you just be you. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figured it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. There you go, that's good. Well, he looks lovely. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. It's okay, dude, you're just nervous. It's your first day. Well, that's normal, isn't it? But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Well, what? Like, what? Well, oh, are you browsing Reddit? Pfft, girl, please, I do that every day and night. Hope's Peak only invites those students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students who are way beyond your average high schooler. Whoa! Oh, that's cute! Look! Oh, they're sweet! For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. Wow, at high school age? I guess she's a high school girl who's also lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Is that her in the middle? Whoa. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Wow. That looks cool. Oh, look! She looks like Ahn from Persona 5. Aw. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. She's pretty. I love this. I love this art. Oh my gosh. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh wow, oh, of course, they've got some JoJo biker guy, of course, that's very, that's very in. 
Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. In high school! <laughs> oh, dear. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me feel how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. Aw, oh, dude, don't feel that way. I'm sure it's fine. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. Oh, but still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Oh no. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me? Without any talent or anything? Maybe. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, I don't want to jump the gun because I've played far too many visual novels, you guys, but is this going to be like a hot tofu boyfriend thing? Like where they plopped a human into St. Pigeonations for an experiment and that's why he's here? Oh. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't be jumping the gun too quickly now. I don't know what this is about at all. That thought was kind of encouraging. I, I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. Yo, you gotta be nicer to yourself, man. Come on. Believe in yourself. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Well, you must have had something about you. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent to see me why. What is it? Mr. Makoto Naegi. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student. <laughs> oh, womp womp. Well, maybe you're just extra lucky. There we go. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Well, it's not so bad, is it? Come on, you can make a name for yourself, dude. They spelled it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would like to be in your place, though. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I couldn't say no. There you go. Set up your future, man. It'll be fine. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. Oh, but still, I can't stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but... I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this! I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I've done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. You've got this, dude! I'm already rooting for this kid. Come on, we can do it. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7, 10 a.m. Oh, you're a bit early, dude. The meeting doesn't start until 8, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. Makes sense no one else would be here yet. Oh, I was so wound up I got here way too early. That's okay. I do the same thing. Oh my gosh. Whenever I'm nervous about going anywhere, I, I like on purpose show up super early to like calm my ass down. Does anyone else do that? I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly... Oh, I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. Yeah, then we can find out where, like, everything is. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? I don't think so. It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. There you go, dude! Feel good about it. At least, that's what I was hoping for. I'm sure it'll be fine. Whoa, what's happening? Wait, no. Don't give me no jump scares or nothing, please, game. What the? What happened? Did he get dizzy and fall down? But the instant I took that first step forward, was he too nervous? My view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, what happened? Everything went black. Did he faint? Well, that's not a good start. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. What? Did he, did he just walk on school and die? What? At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience 
ultimate despair. Wait, what? What do you mean? Whoa. Oh, wow, look, that's cool. That looks like Fallout. Looks like New Vegas. Welcome to despair. Do I want to save? Well, I guess. What? I, I just walked into a damn school. <laughs> I was just trying to go to school. All right, fine. Good Christ, what happened? Am I dead now? Oh no. All right, let's just find out what happened before I jump the gun on I'm gonna, God, I'm gonna try not to jump the gun on everything, guys. I will try. Oh, oh no. Are we all right? Makoto boy, get up. Oh dear. You're all right, lad. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe he, maybe he did faint. Maybe that's all that happened. Oh my, this music, oh no. Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing here asleep just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. Maybe someone brought him here. What the heck's going on? I don't know, lad. Whoa. Whoa, what's happened? What is this? Oh, it's first person, is it? Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. Aim? What the fuck am I aiming at? If you aim an object at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate the object. Use the last buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right mouse button and move them a mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Look at this! I, okay, I, you guys, I didn't know what to expect. I know this game has been out and people love it, but I have not looked at it or anything. This is kind of neat. Wow, I didn't know there would be this aspect of it. Okay, so there are certain things we can look at here. Let's start from the- Oh, okay, I see that means you can't go any further. What's this? Whoa, what the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it- Ooh. That's metal, all right. Yup, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? I don't know. Do I just look at everything once? I'm assuming that I do. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. In a school? Paper. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see the line of drool I must have left there. Ew! I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Whoa, what's that? It's all scribbled. An orientation guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. The hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Oh, I don't know, dude. Clock? Jeez, I can't believe it's already eight. It was just after seven when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? I, maybe you were passed out that long. Okay, so let's see. What might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and someone carried me here? Oh, surely that's what happened though. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. That's a good idea. You can leave the classroom by pressing the R key. All right, let me make sure I've looked at everything first. Oh no, what's this? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Anything here? So it's only the things that light up. Is that everything? Sorry, I'm just gonna take a quick look. I mean, surely there's gotta be an explanation for this. All right, let's go. I suppose so. Guys, hopefully this isn't the... Oh God, it's scary in here. Hopefully this isn't the kind of game that like I can forget things by not looking at them or like leave them behind. I hope not. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the last keys to move through the hallway. 
Hold down the shift key while moving to run. Oh. Oh, so you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Oh, look. Oh, no. First person. Look at this. Well, I'll try to do this in a way that doesn't upset like anyone watching. Because I have a lot of visual sensitivities as well. So I don't want anyone to be like dizzy or anything. Can I... Oh, guys, are you guys going to be upset if I move around with the map up? Oh. I want to look at everything. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Oh, I can't open that yet. Would it behoove me to look at everything first? I'm going to try it. I don't know if you're supposed to, though. Room 1A. The door won't budge. Okay. Well, I came out of one of these rooms. Room 1B, the door's locked tight. Oh, please tell me there's no jump scares in here. Despair Hotel? Well, that sounds pleasant. Despair Hotel? I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but... Anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, hopefully there's not like a timer or anything, but... How can you play one of these games and not look at everything? I'm going to. I don't like the look of that room right there. Oh god, now we're in the green room, okay. Green hallway? AV room, the music room. The AV room, it's locked. Okay. This is... What is this? Danger, keep out. Oh, it's a store. The school store. I guess it's not open. Huh. That must be it over there. Is there anything else we can look at before I go there? I, you, I probably can't look at any of this stuff. Nurse. Look at the hearts on the door. The nurse's office. Off limits, it looks like. Oh, dear. The bathroom! Give it to me! I need to go. I'm nervous. The boy's bathroom. Good thing I don't have to go. Well, then the next thing to do is obviously this. The girl's bathroom. Not that it matters, but it's locked. Well, it matters to me. Oh, I really hope nothing's gonna jump out at me here. That would- that would be the worst. I'm so bad with jump scares. The gym? The gym. The handle didn't move at all. Well, they're really making sure that I can't... Oh, I guess I can't go up here yet, either. I wonder why there's a gate here. Huh. Alright. Is that everything? It's okay, this is a- this is freaky. I'm freaked out. Is it okay to be freaked out? <laughs> I, uh, someone did tell me this was gonna be a little- Oh, God, it's open. Oh, Jesus Christmas. Fine, I'm going in. Hold my hand. Jesus, take the wheel. Someone told me this was going to be a little bit dark, but I'm okay with that, as long as it's not completely horror. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Were they? <gasps> Look at everyone! Oh, hey. Another new kid? Wow. Who's that? What, is that a giant woman? Oh, that's probably a dude, is it? Can't tell right now. Well, there's a lot of people here. Look, I'm trying to look at them all. Look at them all. Huh? Then you guys are all... Hello? Is that a lady? She's wearing... Uh, he or she is wearing a school uniform. I can't yeah. tell. We're all new here. Oh. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Same. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Oh. I wonder too. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking their faces in one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Don't they all look different, vastly? Look at them, though. They look pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, how's it going? My name's Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late. A bunch of stuff happened and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Hmm? Huh? Oh my god, look at this dude's hair! Whoa, you too? Oh no, I don't know what kind of voices to give any of them, I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, she's pretty. Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Oh my god, what is up with this guy? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment, there's something else we must address. Whoa, don't shout, man. Listen to me! Oof. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. Oh, this dude's like... Army guy moral fiber, isn't he, huh? Like the bro guy. 
To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? To hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. Oh, it's the... it's Jojo hair. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. Oh, I like her, she's cute. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? That's yeah. a good point. Oh, okay, that's what she just said. Oh, she's cute too, darling, don't be upset, it's okay. Um... <gasps> she's cute too! Oh, look at all these cute girls! Aw, oh, bless. Okay. So let's get introductions out of the way then, so we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on the Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. Oh, we get to talk to them! Well, there's some different people here. I didn't see them before. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Alright. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go- Oh god, there was a lot of people. I hope I can remember. Oh, what's this? It looks like guns. That surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? I don't know, dude. Is this the same? Yeah. Okay, same. Sorry, I just want to make sure. What's this? Holy cow! What's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. This is the same main hall I was in before, right? The door definitely wasn't here, though. Shoot. Can you go this way, or do I have to use- Oh, I have to use WASD. Same- is it the same television? Okay, yeah, it is the same, I'm sorry. Just checking. Nothing here, okay. Just looking. What's this? A mailbox. There's nothing inside. Alright. Well, let's get the obvious one down quickly. Hifumi Yamada. Hifumi, okay. I am Hifumi Yamada. <laughs> if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. <laughs> I don't mind. Wow, look at this dude. Hifumi Yamada, the ultimate fanfic creator. Hey, dude, we're going to get along just fine. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Uh, well, I read some Phoenix Wright stuff the other day. Oh, and some Steven Universe stuff too. Have you ever written any of that? World of 2D? No, <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. Wow, <laughs> that must have been some good fanfic. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? I can't really probably um, emulate all the voices that the voice acting does, so I'll just try to differentiate them as best I can. That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However... The world of such idiots means nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. Ew. <laughs> I don't think I want to comprehend it. True. All right, what's up, Axel? Leon Kuata. All right, so that's Yo, Leon. The name's Leon Kuata. Tells what's up? It, look, Axel, doesn't he a little bit? <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kuata. What's up? He looks nice, doesn't he? Ultimate base. Oh, this is the baseball guy? That looks vastly different. I recognize that name. Yeah, that... Oh, he must have grown on his hair then. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Hey man, don't judge a book by its cover though. Huh? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What, were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? 
No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Oh seriously, I hate that picture! What the crap? This is not cool, this is so not cool, seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, all right? Shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, I can, can I be totally honest with you? You know. Yeah. I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he was still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. Yeah, dude, chase your dream. A dream for the future? <laughs> My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You well, you definitely I mean. look the part. And you've got a lot of energy. I say go for it. I'm going to be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Hey, sometimes your dreams change. That's okay. Sayaka. She's so cute. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. Oh. I look forward to getting to know you. That voice is a bit... Okay, I'll do my best, guys. Sayaka, the ultimate pop sensation. Oh, she's the pop girl. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Oh, that's the scent of a woman. I'm sure it's your first one. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She looks so darling, doesn't she look? She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's the lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Oh, like Violet Evergarden. Oh, hope it works out better than that did. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. You are? Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Um, hey, by any chance? Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Have these two met before? Hey... Makoto did- Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... Sorry, just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat! Um... You're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about it later. Well, don't run off- Oh. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Pfft, I hope that's not foreboding. Jesus! That better not be foreshadowing anything. Hello, who are you? Not that you'll remember my Whoa. name anyway, but... Oh, she's shy. Don't worry. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Hi! You're a lot like Futaba from Persona 5, a little bit. How are you, dear? Don't worry. Toko Fukawa, ultimate writing prodigy. Wow. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. Wow, in high school. That's pretty impressive. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot up to the top of every hottest men pole. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be lovey-dovey type, with all her masterpiece being a romance and all. Well, not necessarily, you never know. What's wrong, darling? It's okay. She seems very nervous. What's your problem? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature! Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. That's not what I thought at all. I thought you were really cute. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you... I know you can't stand looking at me. 
anyway. Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Don't feel that way. Oh no, she's got bad self-image of herself. Oh no. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Hey, you never know. All right, come on, Captain. Let what's what's your I'm deal? I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Wow. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Oh my God. All right, Kiyotaka. Kiyo-chan, ultimate moral compass. Oh, he's like one of those fucking hall monitor class president types. I see. All right, well, we all know some of those, don't we? So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of ultimate moral compass. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right! This guy is kind of annoying a little bit. Oh! There's more now! Good God! Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Look at all these people! Well, there's many. I... Aoi? Or oh, Aoi, sorry. Chihiro, Kyoko, Junko, and Mondo. Well, let's start left to right this time. Hey, Hello, dear. I'm Aoi Asahina. Hi. But my friends just call me Hina. What's up? What's up, Hina? She's nice. Ultimate swimming pro, I see. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and, uh, proportions have been widely discussed online. Ew, don't be like that. Um, so what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Neigi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it! Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah! Makoto Nagi. Makoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name, moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. Oh my gosh, I used to do the same thing when I was younger because I really can't remember names very well. I actually still can't. It's really a problem. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spelled exactly like it sounds. Mm. Uh. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet ya. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. That's nice, though. It's good to have, like, a more, well, I don't want to say normal, but a more relatable personality. But I think some of these so far have been, like, really relatable. Chihiro, this was the shy-looking girl. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Hi, Chihiro. Ultimate programmer. Oh, she's smart, too. Good combination. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Have we met before? Another one? Because that other girl, the pop girl, seemed to almost say the same thing. Uh, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. Don't cry, girl! Oh, no! You don't have to apologize for that. Y yeah Oh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so listen. Uh I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Some of this is voice acted and some not, so I'm not sure what I should read. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh, she's one of those. Oh, bless. She just desperately wants to be liked and not do anything like out of place or, or weird. 
Oh, it's all relatable, isn't it? I'm starting to understand why our fans are so into her. All right. Hello, Kyoko. Oh, she's really pretty. Look. Oh, I really like her hair and her outfit. Hi. Hello? Um, hi. Um, can I ask you your name? Um. My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Hi. She's the ultimate something? Oh. Is she like us, maybe? She's pretty tight-lipped, eh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. She's one of the ones he couldn't find, so maybe... Maybe it's similar? Maybe she got invited with a letter, too. But she doesn't really look that effort. I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Well, that must be it. Uh, so what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? Uh... That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me, but... Hmm... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Alright, well I won't... won't press the issue. Here's the one that looks like On from Persona 5. A little bit. Hi! I'm Hi. Shuka Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Of course she's gonna be very bubbly. Oh, I like her. I think I might have seen a picture of her at some point, at one point. She's like... is she kind of like the face of this game? Along with the bear? Pretty sure I saw her at some point. Junko Inoshima, Ultimate Fashionista. Anybody would recognize this one. Yeah, look how pretty she is. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the Ultimate Fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Why? What's wrong? She looks lovely. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Of oh, girl, ain't we all been there? <laughs> Social media is not real. Come on, don't act so surprised you're gonna make me, like, all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Take note, you guys. Social media is fake. We're all real with flaws. It's okay. Oh, so many dreams are getting crushed today. What? How the hell did he not know that? Mondo, talk to me, dude. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. <laughs> I like him already. <laughs> He's like me. He swears all the time. I have to rein it in when I'm doing these videos, and let me tell you guys, it's difficult. Ultimate biker gang leader. He also looks like that dude on Food Wars. I can't remember his name right now, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen it. He's in the Donburi, uh Bowl group. Anyway, they have the same hair. Mondo Wada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. That's pretty cool. I like him. Uh, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. Be better careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. I'm sure he's fine. I do like your eyeliner though. Girl, that is on fleek. Why your hair look like a corn cob though? These four over there are the only ones left. I hate to do this, but I'm think- oh, Should I have an extra long opening? I don't know. I'm thinking I should probably save some of this for later because I don't know how long this intro actually is. I still can't tell if that one on the left is a woman or not, but that's alright. I'm gonna get to know them soon. I think we'll do that perhaps in the next one. Maybe? Oh, there's only four left, though. Shoot! This is gonna be like Phoenix a little bit, where I'm not sure how to time things, so maybe if you guys could give me good tips and tricks on how to do that, like what I should expect without spoiling the story, like how the game kind of flows and ebbs, that would be so super helpful. So we'll stop here and in the next one we will meet these four and then hopefully figure out what the hell's going on here. I really hope we do. Anyway, this has been 
episode one of Danganronpa Blind. Thank you so much. If you like the series or you're excited to see me play this, please leave a like on the video. It really helps. And subscribe and hit that bell to stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.